Andy Ruiz. I wanted Joseph Parker to beat the shit out of Wilder because Wilder was talking too much shit. Andy Ruiz was apparently thrilled to see Deontay Wilder suffer a colossal upset last Saturday night. Andy Ruiz, which is a former heavyweight titleist, he was ringside for the fight in uh, Saudi Arabia that featured basically top heavyweights, Anthony Joshua and Otto Wallen. We had Wilder versus uh, Joseph Parker. Now, a matchup between Joshua and Wilder um, had reportedly been set for March, okay, if they both would have won. Uh, but while Joshua dispatched Wilder in five rounds, his rival Deontay Wilder had his hands full with Parker. After 12 rounds, Parker was awarded a unanimous decision um, over Deontay Wilder. Now, in an interview, Andy Ruiz indicated that he was basically happy that Deontay Wilder lost to Parker. Ruiz and Wilder had traded words over the past years, uh, you know, during the basically negotiation to their fight that they were trying to have. Um, so I want to get my thoughts on this whole situation. Really appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Uh, and uh, we'll be back with some more videos here shortly. Now, it says uh, in the interview, this is what basically Andy Ruiz was saying. He says, I was actually praying for Joseph Parker. I wanted him to win. Um, I wanted him to beat the shit out of Wilder because he was talking too much shit. He talks entirely too much shit <laughs> to everybody saying he's going to knock this guy out, that guy out. And I was super happy with Joseph Parker, man. Now, we know Andy Ruiz suffered from inactivity since his loss basically to Joshua in 2019. That was during that rematch. And he's had two fights since then. He uh, had a unanimous decision over Chris Ariola and also Luis Ortiz, King Kong. So my personal opinion on this whole situation is that he says that uh, Deontay Wilder was talking too much shit for the most part. And that's why he wanted him to lose. Now, my personal opinion is that I believe Andy Ruiz was rooting for Wilder to lose because he wanted to get that rematch uh, with Joseph Parker. All right. That's an easy, easy, you know, understanding to get from that. <laughs> he lost to Joseph Parker a while back in his career. Uh, I believe he fought in Joseph Parker's hometown, if I'm not mistaken. And he basically you know, feel as though he won that fight. It was a really close fight. A lot of people thought he could have went either way. And I'm pretty sure he wanted to get his get back. So seeing Joseph Parker come out here and become victorious, especially after uh, Andy Ruiz is coming off of two wins in a row, you know, basically after the Joshua uh, rematch, I think he came in overweight versus that Joshua fight uh, in the second fight and pretty much just got outclassed in that fight. So looks like he's trying to get his get back versus uh joseph parker so he can try to get back on top of things and maybe get another fight with uh with uh anthony joshua in the future um other thing is is that deontay wilder in you know andy ruiz's defense he does talk a lot okay and this is something for me a guy that's typically rooting for Wilder, right? I'm always rooting for Wilder in his fights. I want to see him be successful. And it's a little bit frustrating for guys like me as well when you hear him talking all this, you know, I'm going to knock this guy out. You know, I'm going to knock. He's, you know, he basically talks a lot. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of like those, uh, those, those preachers, man, those pulpit pimps that do all that talking, man, and talking and talking and talking, but then they, they robbing you blind. That's kind of how Deontay Wilder uh, sometimes reminds me of when he's doing all that talking and making you believe what he's saying man and then he get up in, in that ring <laughs> and he's getting knocked around the ring man so uh, i don't know if deontay wilder got the the fire that he used to have when he was younger he was knocking guys out and he was on his way to the top it doesn't seem like he got that fire anymore it doesn't seem like he's um as hungry as he once was, right? It seems like Deontay Wilder has made a lot of money in his career. Seems like now he's a little bit more comfortable. You know, he's he's kind of rich now. He'll be flying on private jets now and, you know, traveling the world. Probably got a big house in Alabama. So he doesn't seem as hungry as he once was. And, he, and to me, I know, you know, I met Deontay Wilder on a few occasions. 
he seems like a very, very genuine dude where he doesn't seem like he's as mean as he portrays himself to be. Now, obviously, he got that dog in him, right? He got he got that fire in him, right? So we know that's there, but at heart, Deontay Wilder is really a cool dude, man. He's a real down-to-earth, nice brother, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think a lot of that has to do with the hunger leaving is because he's just really not naturally a mean guy. He's really a real chill dude, real cool. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll kick it with you. You know what I'm saying? He'll have a drink with you. I don't know if he drink, but he'll he'll have a meal with you, break bread with you. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of dude Deontay Wilder is. And um, sometime when he get up there, he, he you know, we know he's a businessman, so he has to sell the fights. So he gets up there. He talks a bunch of, a bunch of uh, you know, big talk like he's going to do a lot. And sometimes he doesn't necessarily fulfill that in the ring. And it could get fans frustrated from time to time because I know a lot of people, especially versus the Tyson Fury fight, was rooting for Deontay Wilder. We wanted to see him be successful. And we wanted him to come up, come up, on, come up on top. And, um, you know, when he pretty much didn't win that trilogy, man, and he, he was getting knocked out and stuff like that, it hurt a lot of people. You know, a lot of people was believing in him to this day. We was believing in the message for the people, you know what I'm saying, for the for the for the black community. We was we was rocking with him. We was getting behind him heavy and pushing him. And um, to see him come up short like that hurt. Um, so, you know, as far as Andy Ruiz go, he he's not looking at it from a standpoint like a fan because he is, you know, one of his peers. He is a, a pro boxer, heavyweight division. So he's not going to be looking at things the same way as we are but for from his standpoint i can imagine he's probably tired of the shit talking too and i mean i don't necessarily know what happened with the negotiations between ruiz and uh and wilder y'all probably know more than me so you could probably drop that down in the comment section what happened with that but um as far as i know um it's just one of them situations where either one of two things either he's you know just wants that rematch with, with joseph parker and ready to get back in there redeem that loss you know, or he really is just tired of, you know, wild and talking shit and, make, and talking a big game, man. But he probably really believes that he has faster hands. He's probably a better boxer. And he think he could probably really beat Deontay Wilder. And, um, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get in here and bring this news to you guys. Much love, peace, and blessings to everybody checking into the video. This your boy, Get a Mic. Welcome back to Gym Boxing. We are having a little bit of hiccups with the, with the website, man. But we're making some changes right now. We're going to get that website up and running. Um probably make some changes to the whole setup that way we can really really get some news articles out but we're gonna get it moving man if y'all just be patient really appreciate it make sure you guys smash the like button on the way out it's free <laughs> and uh, i'll be back with more content here shortly peace